Welcome to using QuickTime Player to create narrated screencasts of your lessons. The first thing you need to do is open QuickTime Player. Easiest way to do this is to go to Spotlight, type in QuickTime and it will come up as the top hit. Once you've selected that, you can then go to File and you have a number of options. You can do a movie recording which will use the inbuilt camera in your laptop to record your face. You can do an audio recording, so it's just recording your voice, or you can do the screen recording, which is what we're looking at today, which will capture your desktop and your voice. So you click on new screen recording. Now, unfortunately, I can't do a screen recording of a screen recording, so I have prepared by taking some screenshots of what you're going to see. So once you click on screen recording, you have a little window here that comes up. So obviously the recording button, it's just as per a video camera, and you can click on that. What you do want to do first though, is use that little arrow to make sure that you're using your built-in microphone. Um, so that's the internal microphone on your computer. You can also turn this uh, show mouth, mouse clicks on or off as you go along, depending on what you like. Once you click on this red button, you then get this window will open up here, which you can click on to record the full screen, which is what I generally do and what I'm doing now. Or you can actually highlight a section of your screen that you want to focus on. So it could be if you had a PowerPoint open, you could click and drag and just focus on that particular PowerPoint window. So once you do that, once you click on this, it'll start recording. You'll see a little recording button come up in this top corner here, across the top toolbar. And when you're finished, you then click on that, and that's the end of your screencast. So very simple, all you have to do is narrate. You can then put it into iMovies or some other editing software to edit it if you like. Personally, I like to get it right first go, or sixth or seventh go, depending on how you go along. But anyway, I hope that's helpful, and just as a bit of a guideline. So just click on that to stop, and that's all you need to do.